In 2020, a collaborative group of Western University Extension and Agricultural Experiment Station specialists got together to conduct a survey of the United States public's knowledge and understanding of free roaming or wild horses in North America. Specifically, we asked 10 questions to measure their knowledge of free roaming horses in Western public rangelands. Today, we're going to be exploring the question, are free roaming horses native to North America? When we evaluated the responses of over 5,000 United States residents, we were surprised to find that less than 10% understood that most scientists don't consider free roaming horses native to North America. Five million years ago, genus Equus, which has species such as horses, donkeys, and zebras, evolved from Dinohippus, a genus that was common in what would be Nebraska and the Dakotas. Just this genus existed in North America, South America, Europe, and Asia. However, sometime between 10,000 and 8,000 years ago, it disappeared in the Americas. Scientists aren't really sure why. During that time, the last ice age was ending, and the Bering Land Bridge was eventually submerged by the Pacific Ocean. This prevented any equus coming back to North America from Asia. Around the time that equus disappeared from the Americas, North America was wetter than it is in modern times. Much of the western United States was underwater, or a series of large lakes. Around 6,000 years ago, after Equus disappeared from the continent, the landscape became drier with much less rain and moisture than when the glaciers were retreating and melting. The habitat that we see in the western United States now, sagebrush and pinyon and juniper forests, expanded into the western United States at this time. Meanwhile, Equus continued to evolve in Europe and Asia, eventually giving rise to the modern horse, the plain zebra, and the donkey. 6,000 years ago, around the time that North America was becoming drier, Horses began to be domesticated by humans in Europe and Asia. Just like we did with dogs and cattle, we bred horses to create the traits that we wanted in our pack animals. The more horses became domesticated, the less they were like their wild ancestors. When Europeans brought horses with them to North America, they were a different animal than the equus that had left 8,000 years ago. They were about to experience a North America that was vastly different than what their ancestors knew. And this is why scientists don't consider free-roaming horses to be native to North America.